you know what? I've got a really funny taste in my mouth. It's horrible. I'm gonna, have, going well. I'm gonna have some rice cakes. I'm a little bit peckish. But yeah. Fair I don't think there's actually a time difference. So if there's not, it's 10 to 4. So we've still got the afternoon. Um, but yeah. I'm excited. Homemade french fries. How about sweet potato fries, cheddar? That's not sweet, see? First night in Prague, and we've come out for a little walk. So we've met Stephanie and Tyler. Um, it's just gonna be us four for tonight. We did a little shot earlier, me and TJ. Um, but yeah, the three of us, so me, Tyler, and Stephanie, have just come out to a very cute little beer garden. And there's like um, like a trailer truck with food. I looked on the menu, and I was gonna have chicken breast, like a chicken steak with some sweet potato fries. But they, don't. they don't have it, so I've gone for just chicken strips and some chips. So I'm still looking forward to it um and i have obviously got a beer the size of my head um and for real like everything is so cheap here like in comparison to coming from sweden <laughs> it is very cheap but i haven't had a beer in so long so. yeah i'm super excited it's definitely a lot it's a lot warmer here as well compared to sweden um it was snowing when we left so yeah to have like a bump in temperature is quite nice so yeah we're just gonna chill have some food probably have a walk around somewhere um and just enjoy the first night It's uh, with something yellow. <laughs> Mayo mustard. That's quite nice actually. Do you want to try some? Uh, I'd have Thank you. That's annoying. Just now for the second one. Oh, the wow. oh my god, they are oh, so yes. cool! Oh, yeah. I think I <laughs> Cool. Now I'm happy again. <laughs> <laughs> Food makes everything better. That's true. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> oh, and we, but she, she didn't give us the whole explanation that you got about the fries. Well, I suppose because you've got them on top, oh, haven't she you? She didn't tell us that there were fries included. Yeah, she didn't oh, say did, that. Did no. She not? No. 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 I had. Why would I have ordered extra fries? I suppose. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool that they've got like the different colors. That's really nice. Yeah, that's cool, but like now we have so many fries. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a fries party. First night done. It's about quarter past ten now, I think. And we're just going back to the Airbnb. Didn't realize we're actually only here for one night, as in like in this apartment. And then we move tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's been a really cute night. A little bit rainy, which is a shame. Um, but we went out, had a drink had some food and then went and had another drink somewhere else and crazy cheap so for five five beers and two cokes less than 10 pounds <laughs> crazy i mean i'm not complaining definitely had a lot cheaper than sweden so you know that's always good so yeah back to the airbnb chill here go to sleep soon because travel makes me tired and it's been a long day maybe maybe have a little a little dessert <laughs> see this place in the daylight tomorrow because already it's really really nice and this is it just in the dark like very very different to Sweden I must say like such a different vibe but I'm so so excited to see it tomorrow in daylight and hopefully fingers crossed less rain 
Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. We are now checking in from Prague. Officially day number one. We got here last night, but this is our first full day. It's, what time is it? Okay, quarter past 10. Um, it's just been getting ready. We are now going on to our next Airbnb for the rest of the time in Prague. Don't know where it is. No idea. As per, I don't know much. But yeah, so we'll be going on to there um i think it's like half an hour away from here um so yeah i'm looking forward to that and then we'll just chill for the day and then everyone else is meeting us later tonight and we're all going out to the pub i didn't believe people when they said that beer here is super cheap it is crazy cheap the first place we went to not so much um but the second place it was like 37 crown crowns 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 um which is like two two pound less than two pound maybe one like it's super cheap it is not expensive at all um so that was fun i had a look at things that we want to do there's some underground tours we're also all going to go on a tour on tomorrow tomorrow I can't keep track of days today's friday so we've got all day today all day tomorrow and then i've pretty much got all day sunday um but obviously i will be leaving that night and then on to poland for me which i'm excited about but this is this is where we are staying. Well, I say staying, this was last night. So we stayed on there. Um, I haven't shared a bed with my sister for over 10 years. So that was an experience last night. To be fair, it wasn't too bad. This is the main room. And the kitchen. We just got some nibbles last night and then I ended up going out for food, obviously but thought I would try these rice cakes because if you don't know by now, I am addicted to rice cakes. I had a whole bag yesterday when I got off the plane. I was so hungry and I literally had a whole bag of sour cream and chai. So good. Found these dark chocolate rice cakes, some nuts, and then I have no idea what these are, but some sort of honey, honey and salt, I presume. I don't know whether it's like a breadstick thing or what, I don't know. And also, I have literally, I've given up trying to find flavoured water that's like, still not sparkling. This one isn't as bad because it's dark fruit berries, as in like blackberries, raspberries, so it doesn't taste as bad. But it is literally just like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's not, not nicest. Looking forward to exploring day number one. Not so much even. <laughs> but you're glad you've got a coat on now. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's um it started raining. I'm not cold, I just it's oh, a bit it's better wet. than just without just with Oh the god, yeah, <laughs> considering that I've literally just got a small sports bra on. I'm yeah, glad I've really got a coat. Too, much. Mm -hmm. so. Her maps is just not working. So we are on our way, hopefully, to Old Town, which I'm excited about. Hoping that there might be a market there, but we didn't bring any cash, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. And the one day, the one day in the past however many days, I actually decided to do my hair and it rains. Oh, it's just a bit sorry. annoying. Um, sit down, do my photo rest. It's not great, so 100% get a coffee and just chill, see what there is, have a little look around. Just hang around. Um, too. What time are we on now? Yeah, it's about 20 past 11 and we can't check until 2. This flooring, the kind of tiles they've got is so slippery with these trainers. Mm -hmm. like, so we've just got to the main square of Old Town and this is so cool. Such a different vibe from Sweden. Okay, we decided to get some stuff. Tiramisu. Tiramisu, yeah. How so many? Like three in there. That's <laughs> how it's going. And then we also got some chocolate covered strawberry and cinnamon stuff. Chocolate cashew. I'll have one of these. These, I love cashews. I'm going to try white chocolate. 
start and um, milk. Here we go. Do you want any cashew? Mm, no, it's all your bit. Yeah. Just the one? Yes, please. I've just got to a place with Miner's Coffee, um, coffee, coffee place. Yeah. I have gone for something very, very different. Never, ever, ever had this. It's a cocoa matcha. I've never tried much before, and a coconut milk cappuccino. Very, very skeptical, should we say. Normally I just go for like a normal coffee, so this should be interesting. Okay, taste test. I'm really scared I'm not gonna like this, because it's quite expensive. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Not horrible. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like leafy. Matcha is like I don't know. I've never had it before. If you've had matcha before, I guess you'd know. I'm trying to think of like what it is, and it's like a chocolate one, so it's quite mild. It's like tea. It tastes like the matcha Kit Kats. Okay, I've never had those. This is my first ever matcha flavor or something and I thought I would just give it a go. And it's, it's not bad. It's not my preferred. It's definitely not that sweet. It tastes like tea. Like chocolate tea. Like leafy tea. Oh, it's green tea. Oh, is that what matcha is? <laughs> Didn't know. It's nice. No? Oh, you don't usually have coconut milk. Um, so, for so as you would have seen, we went into Candy, Captain Candy, because I'm a sucker for sweets and chocolate, and we didn't get loads, like it looks like a massive bag, um, expensive shit, what was it, six pounds something for like, there's not that much in there, like we've got two of each, because we wanted one each, um, I might have a chocolate strawberry, what do you want, or I can't remember what this one is. Some sort of almond, a flavour of almond butter. Mm. What's that one? I can't remember, some sort of almond butter, I can't remember the flavour. Caramel or tiramisu? Tiramisu. That's nice. It's got like almond, then chocolate, then the actual like flavour around it. Cinnamon. So, why are you very good? We checked into our Airbnb that we're staying at, but we had to come back to get our stuff, which we have now got, and we are popping into Lidl, doing it one at a time, so we can like dump our bags outside um, just to get some like bits for dinner because I don't really fancy going out, I just want something plain and simple. Knowing me, I'm probably just going to find like chicken and rice. Because I kind of weirdly miss it. Then yeah, we're going to head back to the Airbnb and meet Allo who's coming to join us. And make sure we are back then for, for when she arrives. Top tips. If you're travelling, take as little as possible. Especially if you are moving around. Because it got to the point now it's really frustrating how much shit I'm having to move. So, okay, this is like both of ours. But this is my bag. That's my jumper. I'm wearing this and my jacket. That's now all just like random stuff and a little bit of food from last night. Then obviously that's all TJ stuff. Um, okay, I need the layers at the minute because it is cold, but it is so annoying. It makes a massive difference when you're just having to wear so much or carry stuff. So ideally, if you're going solo or even just general and you're taking limited amounts, go somewhere hot because I haven't got to carry loads of layers and it would make life so much easier but as you can see it's been raining and it's just frustrating so i'm gonna go in and get some food in a minute when tj comes back out and then yeah head to the airbnb chill there for a bit have some food because i am starving i've had a packet of nuts and like that one coffee and two chocolates and two chocolate nuts so i'm hungry i'm ready for food and it's like half three now maybe a little bit later i actually don't know what time it is okay it's 24 
and I've not had a full meal. Pop in, get some food, go back to the place where we'll be staying at for the remainder of the time here, chill and then meet everyone out later at the pub um, just for some drinks and yeah, I haven't met anyone else yet so yeah, it'll be nice to meet everyone. <laughs> hey, I swear, every time I come on here, I've got a hood up and it's raining. But we are currently exploring a little bit of Old Town Prague. We are now with Alo and Alberto, they are lovely. Um, TJ obviously already knew them, but they are so, so nice. We all get on really well, and we're just going to meet some other people at the pub. Go and get warm, because it's actually kind of cold. Um, and yeah, my feet are wet. My feet are so wet. Um, but yeah, it'll be a nice chill evening. Probably a couple of beers tonight, maybe. We'll see, see how I'm feeling. Um, but we've got a tour early tomorrow morning. So I wanna feel somewhat fresh. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting the other guys. I'm going and having a drink. Right, absolutely zero idea if you can even hear me. But we're in a place called The Pub, I think it's called. Um, and there's four of us here at the moment. We've got a few more to join, which I'm excited about. Um, very loud, but the coolest thing I've ever seen in a bar, and I've never seen it anywhere else. As I say, you can uh, order some food here, some drinks. But if you want to drink beer, you just drink as much as you want from here. Uh, it's a sad beer, but uh, in Czech Republic we like beer with a foam. I don't know where you're from. So you probably like beer without. Yeah, we love it the Czech way. But it's just, uh, you know, the best way is uh, do it like this, right? Higher. Like keep that in that angle and then slowly this leave it inside. You know this little bit. You make it yes? Okay. <laughs> so something like this is English beer? Maybe without foam in it. So this one is the first one. And I'll bring the more glasses and uh, day three but day full day two in Prague um just gone nine I'm still waking up we had a bit of a late tonight than normal last night but um yesterday was so cute today we are going on a walking tour don't know whereabouts obviously um but it's gonna be all of us so we met David and Kate for the first time last night and then Tyler was there as well Stephanie um, wasn't feeling too good but it's gonna be all of us today that go on the tour thankfully it's sunny at the moment, according to weather app. Um, so hopefully, no rain. I, I pray there's not because there is nothing worse. I think it's like a three hour tour as well. It's at half 10. So we've got like an hour before we need to leave here, which is fine. But I don't want to be walking around in the rain. Hopefully, hopefully the weather's a lot nicer. Have a little walk tour, have a mooch around. 
Um, and then I think a few people have done suggestions of like restaurants or bars or places that we can go. But yeah. Oh, and <laughs> FYI, you can take the floor tonight. <laughs> Horrible. I didn't even sleep last night. Did you not? I, had, I woke up at like. I to wait, but I didn't get to see Karma. ages. Karma. So, Karma. me and TJ... Karma, you're, you're here for free. You haven't paid anything. You're the add-on. I'll pay them. I didn't know I hadn't paid, because you sorted everything. You sorted the flights. I did it before you even, we even knew you were coming. Well, I'll send you some money then, if you're that bothered. No, I'll stay on bed. I'd rather pay for you. <sighs> well, anyway, me and TJ shared a bed last night, and it was bigger than this. Not last night, the night before. Same, same. Um, and even then we topped and tailed. And it was the first time we'd shared in over 10 years, probably. Not a vibe. I just, no. Neither of us slept. liked it. Yeah, but I didn't, like, out of choice, oh, okay. I wouldn't want to share. But you did sleep though, didn't you? Kind of. But out of choice, I would not want to share. Anyway, that's the sofa, which is obviously a sofa bed. Um, I slept there, right there on the road. That pile, that mountain of duvets, um, I layered them on the floor and slept on that. Um, so it was fine. I asked you. Like, it was because I was I was a bit tipsy and I was tired and I couldn't feel I anything. Say, even if it's fine now, it might not be in a few hours. Are you sure? And you went, yep. Yeah. I've woken up so sore. Well, what we can do is. <laughs> I'll just put an extra duvet down because I used one of them as a pillow, so I'll just, just use that. the pillow as a pillow. Make sure that they don't slip. Squish those together. Why didn't we do that last night? Because you said you were fine. So I was like, well, it saves for the sleeping because that is awful. Yeah, it's like I'm used. To, I've slept. To, I've slept on carpet before. I've slept on carpet. I think that's why because it's like a rug, but it's a rug on solid flooring. It's fine. We'll sort it out later. Hopefully, hopefully, better night's sleep tonight. People from all over the world, and for a good reason. It is an absolutely splendid mixture of everything Europe has to And also it has something that very few other cities can um, boast the suspense. century to the 1100s. It's not the oldest built, of course, but it's continually functioning and in this way it differs from many others. There you go, you've got it. <laughs> um, trying yeah. beef broth and jumping. Okay, I'm hungry. Dobro. Yeah. Um, this is super cool. 
no idea what it is. It's they say potato dumplings. It's, it's potato dumplings, like cinnamon. With cinnamon, yeah. But they put like a load of like sauce stuff on it as well. I think and it's that is so much ice and sugar. So much. I think it's butter, iced sugar, and cinnamon. Ooh. Enjoy. It's gonna be really okay. good. <laughs> oh, they are thick. Okay. Um, have a it's really hard to do it, like to do dumplings. Yes, I think it's hard to make the outside. The outside? Yeah. They're really like thick, quite stodgy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried it. Mm. It's good. Mm. Try it. Will you show? So we are now in the castle. I don't know what castle, um, but a castle, and it's huge. And then obviously there's all the little bit that's like through there. And it's just so big. Like I don't really think this shows just how huge it is. Like the size, massive. Okay, I have finally got a chimney cake to try. I've got pistachio flavor with ice cream, and I am so excited. They say it's traditional. I think it's traditional. Yeah, like it's a traditional Czech. Traditional Czech. That's nice. Do you agree? With pistachio. No. <laughs> Usually things that are traditional check, they don't have cinnamon? to say it. Because I think it's cinnamon. If they have to say it, it's like their... Oh my god, that is so good. That, that pistachio is good. Yeah, it's so Do you want to try some? Yeah, I'll try some. That is good. So we are just about to go out for the last evening in Prague. I mean, I've got tomorrow, but as I said, I leave late. So we're just heading out and meeting the others at a little restaurant bar for some drinks. Just got a little, little top and jeans. Um, this is the only like nice stuff that I've bought. Um, it's still cold outside, so I'm just gonna put my jumper on top and then my coat. Um, and yeah, but I'm looking forward to having a few more drinks. Seeing where we end up, we'll probably stay at the same place because obviously it's like half nine now, I think. Um, yeah, 20 to 10. Table's booked at 10. Have some drinks, have some beers, and enjoy the night. But I mean, blue and orange, like, they are opposite colors. They match really well. And for editing... It's fucking mental what they mean. I haven't seen anything like that out on the streets. No, no, no. Yeah, they're just... Yeah, they're just... Yeah, they're just... It's one thing that I miss, like, being here, because I think it's really fucking cool. Just got back. I am not gonna lie, I am so tired. It is like quarter past one, I think. Yeah, almost quarter past one. Um FYI, the state of the bed. This is literally what I was dealing with last night. Um DJ's got all of that. <laughs> this is mine. However, last night I didn't have this. That is literally it's the width of my arm. Like, it's not much. Um, I've just done it for an extra bit of padding on the floor. Um, but I'm going to go to sleep very soon.
because we are checking out of here tomorrow at 11 at the latest and then we're going to go and have brunch with the rest of them before we basically all just start going home so i think we might go to the museum tomorrow i want to the national national museum i think it is um we'll see we shall see i had some good drinks and to be fair bear in mind i had like some food a beer and a cocktail 13 pounds 13 pounds when i tell you it's cheap over here as long as you go to the right places it's cheap brunch somewhere tomorrow and then on to the next one which i'm so so excited about i'm i'm generally starting to the point now where i'm shitting it <laughs> knowing that i am really going to be on my own a li little bit nervous but it'll be fine it'll be absolutely fine um but yeah i'm gonna go to sleep now and catch you guys in the morning good morning from a very hot and sweaty individual not gonna lie we're all on our way to brunch to meet up with the others um it turns out the original one that we had planned to go to was closed until 12 so we've gone for a different one which is actually a little bit further away i have got so much crap with me i'm so hot and i was like i can't walk for 25 minutes with all of this when it's relatively warm outside in comparison to what I've been used to so I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna get public transport plus the fact I need to get used to learning how to do stuff on my own considering I'm gonna be on my own from tonight um I am on the metro station tunnel thing so this is where we are um and to be fair it's actually really easy to understand I was very surprised um and yeah I'm gonna make my way there myself prove that I can do it and I can follow directions and stuff like that um I've literally got two two different um like trams underground tubes to get which is not bad at all um, and hopefully I'll be there relatively at the same time as them because because I've got to wait for the transport and it's a changeover it actually takes just as long um as walking but it just means I don't have to carry myself everywhere um I think that is me um but yeah last day here super excited and yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really now looking forward to being on my own and just trying some new stuff, not having to like worry about being around people. Um, I think, I think this is my one coming. Update. On the way to the place, I've just got a text saying that the place that we were going to go to, like the second place, um, is already full. And I'm on my own and everyone was like, right, let's just go to the original place. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm on my own and I don't know where we're going, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. But I don't know. I don't know where I'm meant to be meeting people. I might just go back to the original, original place that we had booked. So I might just end up going back on the same way that I've just come. So that was fun trying out the um, metro on my own because why the hell not? Um, a little bit of experience. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know where we end up. It's really good. It is really easy to do this. I, yeah. I like it if it's fresh, yeah. but like... But for us, coriander is the seed. It's not tomato. Something We have just had an unreal lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it, at a Israeli place. So we did end up going back to the original place that we were planning on going to. So yeah, it was pretty pointless me getting on the metro, but it gave me the little confidence of knowing, right, okay, I can use public transport on my own, getting ready for tonight. I said goodbye to the others, it's just the four of us now. And we have just dumped our stuff 
at um, TJ and Alberto are staying tonight and going back tomorrow. So we've just dumped our bags there. Um, we're going to go and have a little look at the museum because Allo is going home about six. I think she's leaving here. Yeah, literally almost two o'clock. So we've all got a few hours all together, and then I've got probably like nine hours to kill before before I go. So hopefully get a few more little bits in and see and do the fall and then on to Poland baby very very excited I mean I would normally be quite nervous but I think now I'm just ready for like some time by myself but yeah it feels weird but this is like this little bit in Prague has gone so so quick yeah. it's been good really really good I think it was really really cool even though I So we went to the museum and then we ended up having a little walk to Charles Bridge again um, had some pictures on there and then now we are just in the old town and just chilling really um, obviously Allo leaves shortly and then I've got another few hours I'll probably get some food somewhere maybe just to enjoy like a last little bit I don't know I don't know I'm not that hungry at the minute but I needed I needed a coffee um, so yeah we're just having a little mooch and it's nice uh, shame that it's my last night to be fair but I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So yeah. Uh, I'm back after a little walk around. Um, I've still got a good few hours before I need to leave here. Um, TJ and Alberto are staying another night, so I've just I left my bags here, um, and then obviously they're they're staying here for tonight. And it's actually <laughs> it's a really cute apartment. So that's a door, and then you come straight into the kitchen. And the bathroom is free there, Alberta somewhere at the minute. I'm just cooking some dinner. I'm having some pasta and chicken pesto. And dinner. Cute little lounge. Double bed, two days in there, chilling. So I'm not gonna disrupt her, but there's like two single beds in there. It's half six now. I need to leave between half 10 and 11, I'd say, because it's like a 25 minute journey to get to the bus station. And obviously I'd rather be too early than too late. Um, worst case, I can just like chill there for a little bit. It might be cold, but I'm sure there'll be someone like inside. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Have some food. Might go out again in a bit. I don't know. See what Alberta wants to do. But today has been so so nice. The museum was incredible. It was so good. Not what I expected. Like it was huge. It was like a like a history part. There was a, I mean, it was all history. But there was like main like cultural history with like royalty and like the rich and the poor and what they used. To Used, what they would wear, um, stones, minerals, and loads of rocks. There was loads. It was just row after row of just these crystals. Um, and then there was like a load of like animals, and they were all like to scale. I desperately, desperately need to wash my hair. As disgusting as it may be, I've not washed it since I've got here. So I'm gonna wash it when I get to the Airbnb tomorrow. Check in's not till four, which is a little bit annoying. Um, so I've messaged the host to see if I can check in any earlier or at least just leave my bags. And if not, I'm gonna find somewhere else to dump my bags because that is all mine. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing those, but I've got that and that and my coat. So I don't wanna be walking around with that for like six hours maybe long eight hours i'm 
so excited to go on my own now. Like, I just need, I need my own space. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do when I get there because I've just seen it's like a 45 minute ride from where I get into Krakow and then where I'm staying. And see, because obviously it's overnight, but mm, worst case, I'll just go to bed really, really early tomorrow night and um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, dinner now, enjoying the last bit of time in Prague. Um, yeah, it's been good. Guys, it's official. It's it's official. I am solo. I am now on my own. I'm making my way to the station to get my bus. Um, now that it's settling in, like now that I know it's actually happening, kind of shit myself. Not gonna lie. Like I'm so excited. So so excited and before it was just like i think i just had a bit a bit much of like my social battery had just worn out a little bit too much to be honest um and i was more than ready for my own time my own space and company and i was like right get me get me to poland get me there um but now it's happening kind of shit now but it'll be fine um i can do this it's all good um i'm hoping that i actually get to the um to the place on time but it's been nice and chill i basically just went to little got some snacks for the tonight found some shampoo and conditioner so i could wash my hair finally washed my hair i feel nice and fresh had a shower feeling good i've got my trackies i got my comfies on my trackies my jumper so hopefully hopefully i can have a little sleep on the bus but yeah um no idea what to expect i'm hoping that i get to as i say i hope that i get to the actual bus stop where I'm supposed to be. I've screenshotted like the pictures of where I'm supposed to go and like the information and stuff like that. So, but I'm so scared. I'm not scared, I'm fine. The best way to overcome your fear is to face it head on. That is what I'm doing. Social anxiety, who? <laughs> um, but yeah, I am so, so excited. I'm ready, I'm ready. Bring on Solo.